Hey guys, this is Roger, you one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Modular Castle. Last episode, we actually ended off on a little bit of a, a, a question, and it was how to get rid of the shadows from the invisible clouds that weren't actually there. Well, you guys actually... You guys actually came through. Um, it was in this part. Options, shaders, cloud shadows. I had it on, which gave us these weird... Like, not even correct, almost, shapes that I like, really... It looks like a pirate ship, doesn't it? Uh, that's pretty cool there, but no, it's it, it's terrible. So we'll turn that off, and boom, we get ourselves a nice clear uh, shader, colour, light going on. Now, I don't want to make any more modules today. Today, I want to build the platform of which our castle is going to sit upon. Now, I'm sure some of you, at least, must have played a game called Elder Scrolls Skyrim. And in Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, um, there's a place called Solitude. It's a, a, a city, a, one of the main cities uh, in, in the Skyrim region, uh, Solitude, and one of the richest as well. And the whole city is on top of a relatively high hill, we shall say. But the castle spreads out over this, um, it doesn't have a bridge, we're going to have a bridge, but I don't think it actually has a bridge on it, because it's all sort of connected uh, in, in one piece, but there's a feature that I really like about it, and it's that the platform that it sits on is almost like a, uh, it's almost like an N shape, so it's got a hole through the middle, and everything sits on the top of that, and I really like it, so I've got five, um, yeah, five brushes here, uh, diamond one being a block of, or a sphere of grass, five blocks in diameter. Gold is four, iron is three, stone is two, and then the wooden one is just for a little bit of smoothing. And today I want to give an idea on what sort of size we want for this castle, at least a rough estimate, and how far over into the ocean it's going to be, and, and how it's going to connect with the ground, and the sort of logistics of it. Now, as I said, I wanted it to come off the top of this mount, or this hill here. I really, really like this. This could be almost like a, a windmill area. Windmill would be perfect, in fact, to have on the top of here. We get rid of at least most of the trees. And then we want this to sort of run underneath here. In fact, I'll probably fill all of this part in entirely. Something like this. And it comes through. We'll smooth it off and make it a, a little bit flatter later on. I don't know if I want it perfectly flat. Or if I want a little bit of an upward gradient going on. We'll have to sort of see how things go. I think I want to just extend this by a smidge. So we get ourselves a fairly wide platform. We don't want anything thin. We don't want um, a, a rickety bridge going towards our castle. We want somewhat of a, a grand specimen to view. Let's get that cable out of the way because it's touching my arm. And it's driving me crazy. I keep thinking there's a fly or something. Okay, now here is where our castle sort of area can begin. I don't know how I'm going to join up underneath here. I don't know if it's going to be solid. I don't know how big it's going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to just keep coming forward here. About two spheres thick. Which is around, what is it, around 20 blocks in diameter? Uh, roughly something about that. Each one has a, a five block radius so each sphere has a 10 block diameter so two of them together is around 20 blocks because obviously it goes into each other okay i think that's a pretty good distance away from land i don't want it to be way over there that would make no sense so we're going to start sort of bringing this down now into the water now i need to be careful because if i click on the water it it it, it it's gonna be it's gonna be a bad day for me let's just say like that help me help me and um, we'll get out. So, we always start off... We've done terraforming similar to this before. You always start off with these nice large spheres. It covers a lot of ground. Uh, and a lot of space. And then what we do is, uh, over a little time, we add s smaller and smaller circles to try and give us a bit more of a realistic uh, feel. And then we also add smaller spheres to fill in cracks and certain holes that look a little bit too spherical, a little bit too unnatural. So, this is the... Right there. This is the sort of 
archway that I want. See, already, even though it's in such a rough state, imagine a castle sitting on top of that. Hey? Oh, yes. So we want to make this a little bit wider here. We don't want this to be just 20 blocks thick or whatever because the castle's got to go on here. It's got to be nice and somewhat wide. <coughs> yeah, I got the cough still. Okay, so I, I, I've probably got something that I should probably go to hospital with, but I don't know. We should come through here. Look at all the different grass colors. We've got like one grass color, two grass colors, three grass colors. I actually don't mind it too much. I can change the biome. If, if we want to do, if we suddenly decide, you know what, we, I don't like how we've got this. We can we can change the uh, the biome uh, itself so we get all matching grass. But at the moment, I'm not really that bothered about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's have a look from on top here. We've got a sort of walkway slash bridge. I might thin it up a little bit and have the sides of the bridge come down and connect to the like land below. I think I like that idea better. But for the moment, it gives us a good idea. And then this is where the castle's going to be. Now, it's very hard to gauge how big you need something to be when building a sort of platform in Minecraft. Because at first you think, some of you might think, well, this is a huge area. I mean, you could build a massive castle on here. And then some of you might be thinking, well, this is such a tiny area. I mean, you couldn't even build a castle wall on here. I think it's sort of somewhere in between. I think you could build a really tight, uh, cozy castle in here with some very clever walls going on i want it a little bit bigger so i'm going to actually come out evenly on both sides so i don't i want that to be somewhat of the center of this platform so we're going to come out here and it's really nice because you can already see the grass that's underneath in like the middle of the spheres starting to die so that'll all end up going to um to dirt and once that all does go to dirt I'll probably end up changing all of the dirt to stone. Because obviously in Minecraft, the ground itself is made up of like three or so layers of grass or five layers of grass. And then the rest being stone. And I want to do a similar thing here. I want to put some ore visible in there. Things like that. Do you know what I mean? So you can actually sort of... It, it, it looks like the, the land was up this high at one point. But the sea has sort of eroded a lot of it away. Which I think is sort of how Solitude in Skyrim sorts out. I don't know about the lore. Or the lore. Yeah, the lore. L-O-R-E. I don't know too much about the lore of um, uh, Solitude. I haven't really looked into it. I know a lot about just Elder Scrolls lore. And the Elder Scrolls universe. And, you know, even even the planets that it's uh, it's got in its solar system. I know a lot about that sort of stuff. But the actual places itself, I'm not a huge... Oh, there's a duck. I'm not a huge uh, knower of. Postman's here. We shall have these coming up. Oh, wow, I really... I was going to say, uh, I've really shut myself in here, haven't I? Okay, so I don't want anything visible there. We want all of that being solid. It's actually not looking terribly rough, either. You can see the spheres, but it's not terribly rough. This is way too much of a right angle. So we're going to just drag this in there, round that off a little bit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you squinted, you could almost think that that was a natural, a really cool natural Minecraft formation. I want it relatively open in here as well. I don't want it, like, filled in and being completely solid. We want some structure to it, though. We don't want it to look like it's, it's, it's grossly thin at the top so what we're going to do is we're going to get some smaller spheres here underneath that so that was a four sized one that was a three sized one i think i like the three sized one for the smaller or the smallest sections and the great thing about the underside is that we don't actually need to touch it all that much uh i wanted to have this very rough look underneath so it looks like pieces of dirt and stuff are always falling it's always like dripping the uh the 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 loose dirt and earth away would you call it earth in a minecraft world hmm maybe maybe you guys can decide if it is dirt called earth i don't think it is i don't think I, I don't think i would call it earth i did but i don't think it's scientifically correct okay now i do need to go into the water as well at the moment it's just sort of sitting on top of the water but at least it gives us a little bit of an idea here 
Okay, I am re I'm really, really liking that. We did extend at least this side. I extended the other side a smidgen. But uh, how much width are we looking at here now? I think it looks a little bit smaller because it's not like perfectly flat. You've sort of got these up and down sections. But I don't think we're doing too bad here. I think we're getting a pretty decent size. I mean, if I come over here, if I stand maybe in the middle, we can see our castle bits. These are the biggest parts that we have. I think the that base is probably the biggest. Oh, no, these bases are the biggest bases. So we can sort of see a base there. Let's grab it. Let's go and copy and, and paste and stick it on there. That might give us a good idea. Now, there is no need... There's no point. Let's say not a need. There's no point making an area so big. Because you think, oh yeah, yeah I'm going to make the biggest castle ever. Making the biggest castle that you can... Oh, did I copy it? No. Making the biggest castle that you po possibly can is not the best way to go when it comes to uh, when it comes to Minecraft. Think about what you can do. Always try and push yourself, and always try and push. I hit the Windows key and minimize Minecraft. So what was I saying? Don't try and uh, don't overdo your stuff. Don't overstretch yourself. Push your limits, but. Think about a doable area. Don't don't go too big because otherwise you get very quickly um, burnt out with a project. Keep an area so big. This is too. I think this is too small. But if we paste it here, now think about it. If I had this a little bit further forward, we had one big tower here. I'm well. I know. I think I'd have the smaller tower here. In fact, I would have one smaller tower here, probably the stone one, not the wood one, and one there. Nice gate in the middle. We come in. I want like a stables, and I want maybe another building sort of here, not quite in line. And then we have the main castle start somewhat here. I don't want a huge lawn garden area there's no point with that smaller little decorative gardens with a lot of detail and rose bushes and stuff like that maybe a fountain or two very nice but not not big striped lawns going on here we don't want that kind of thing so it looks like i'm somewhat happy just a little bit bigger I'm, I'm, I'm almost happy with the width as well I think I want to come out a little bit wider maybe another sort of sphere a sphere and a half maybe on this side and I definitely think I want to come out further on the back so we get a little bit of a longer castle I can get a little bit of the walls what I would what would be really cool is to have actually some of the um, castle towers hanging over the edge a little bit and having them sort of extend down or, or, or built into the into the environment itself now that would be cool undo so let's come this way a little bit we're going to make it a little bit bigger we'll go with the big spheres we can sort of see that we start curving out there so i can start curving out here to keep it somewhat symmetrical so we shall have this coming out here so this is adding another oops seven or so blocks to the uh, to the edge here. Wow, we, we we got a little bit thin here, didn't we? There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I like how it's just like trees. Nah, D trees don't bother me. Okay, then we want to go with the smaller ones. Some smaller sort of one. Oops, that's not a smaller one. Some smaller ones on the edge, like this. Try and blend it all in. We haven't even got to the smoothing stage yet, and I'm already happy. We want it thicker at the bottom as well. We don't want it just to come up all at one thickness. You want it thicker at the bottom, then go a little bit thinner. And then I sort of like how it gets a little bit wider again at the top. It's almost like um, a lot of it has sort of broken away. Very, very happy with that. There's not much point going around with the two wide ones yet. We're a little bit too, a little bit too small for that. Or a little bit too unsmooth, I should say, not small. A little bit too unsmooth for that. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. What about on this side? I like incorporating this island 
as a, as almost like an anchor point. It already gives us that wider base at the bottom here that I was just talking about. So that's that's quite a nice um, bonus for us. Have this coming up here. Get a smaller one. Stick that in the corner. Look at that. It's it's like a it's almost like a perfect natural arch. It's not it's not too rounded. Like it's it, it's sort of wiggly there and arches over and arches outward. And the other side's a little bit different. But that looks pretty cool. Even without the shader pack on, the nat the, 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 the vanilla shaders aren't actually doing that bad of a job. Now, I want to come out further on the back, like I said, so we want to extend this. It doesn't matter that this part is going to be thicker than the rest. That will e probably even make it look a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend this out, I don't know, four, maybe five sp fit spheres. S I actually pronounced the P in spheres then. Spears. Okay, oops. I want to get that as close to it as possible. There we go. Okay, I think that's a pretty good, a pretty decent expansion size. Yeah, that looks like, I think we can all agree now that that looks like a good area. This is a river biome, I think. You can see, see how the grass changes through the middle, almost like a river. I bet it is. What biome are we in at the moment? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? I can never, I can never find, what, ocean, there we go. Ocean, beach, Tyaga, river. Oh, no. I was right, sort of, sort of right. There is river in there. So many biomes going on there. Okay, uh, not that I need to worry about it, but at the minute, let's now extend this down. Uh, we can bring this down this way. This is probably the best way to do it. We'll go around almost like in um, in in brick layers, but starting at the top instead of the bottom. The backwards way of building a house. Uh, this like that and I think we'll have some smaller ones sort of joining it up like that go back to bigger ones That corner is going to need a little bit of touching up. We'll remember that we should probably end on that side So it shouldn't really matter too much Come around here. I think we've got a pretty decent natural grade or, or gradient going on as well. It's not too steep uh, but it's not like uh, so um, What would you call it like so? pointlessly uh, soft of a gradient that people could just climb up it. I think the reason why castles are built on the top of the hills and uh, and stuff like that is so they can only be approached by one side, so they're easier to defend. They're bottlenecking the enemies into an area that they can defend really easily. What's the point of having it on the top of a mountain if the mountain can be climbed from all directions? That sounds like a bad battle plan to me. Okay. Add a little bit more here. Oh, yeah. We've really incorporated that island in well. And down here. Using some thinner ones. Some smaller ones here. For a little bit more detail. A little bit more control. Okay. I really, really like that. Can I go even smaller? Yeah. Get some smaller ones in there. The smoothing will obviously help a lot. When we, when we start smoothing it off with the brush. Uh, but this is just giving us uh, an idea of what it's going to look like almost before that, like a like a rough, unfinished version. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Look how sturdy that looks on the top. Now on the castle top, we do want a flat base, at least to start building with. Once the castle is built, we can then almost re terraform it a little bit uh, to have a little bit of, an, of, 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 a, of some bumps and some hills on the top but to build our castle with at first we are going to want a nice flat uh, section so if we grab some grass here and I put this up to about there, oh I've got my Minecraft sounds like all the way down I apologise, I should turn that up for next episode not that it really matters anyway. N placing the uh, grass with the um, brushes don't make a sound anyway. So you haven't missed any sound this episode. And I think we'll come f about here. 
this should give us a flat a flat top i think i've got most of it oops okay fair enough this is gonna look really weird to a lot of you guys at the moment i know what i'm doing i know what i'm doing do it there set air boom and we get a roughly well pretty much flat area i knew we weren't going to get all of it there's going to be some some bits that we were going to miss but these are really really easy to fix set grass 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 you know i might i might change the biome to all match the same i sort of liked it on the side i'm not a huge fan of it on the top maybe that'll change maybe i'll start liking it a little bit more when uh, some buildings start going down and it sort of hides the fact a little bit more I might like it a little bit better when it all goes back to grass as well and there isn't no dirt about. Okay, there's a few little few little bits that are still sticking out. Look up into the sky. And those little two bits there. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh it's still a little bit rough on the bridge section, but I didn't really want oops, I didn't want to wreck the trees over there too much and end up with like half trees. It just ends up giving me a lot more work later on. Uh, that one. I see some little air gaps down there. Look. See all them? We don't want those. They should all be pretty much solved when we smooth it off. But yeah. That's, now it's flat. It's actually a lot bigger of an area that I think a lot of you guys maybe thought. Tower. Tower. Gate in the middle. Wall sort of going out that way and that way and that way. Maybe sort of going around there. Really try and utilize the space. Obviously, you want to surround it in a castle wall. But yeah, I like that. Okay, I think I can actually do this path without wrecking too much. And it's nearly, you know what, nearly at the height that we would want as well. Come back here. Like, oh, we're nearly at the height of joining up to that mountain. I mean, not the height that we want. Of course, it's the height that we want. That one. Two. Oh, you know what? This tree can go anyway. Do there and then this one now some of the, the this land might go we might swap this out for a bridge i don't know yet but we might oops not air undo wrong one grass there we go and we're pretty close we're, we're only one block off on height and that's obviously easily solved we can sort of extend this out somewhat like this uh three or four blocks of a gradient like this, look. And we've got ourselves a pretty much perfect height, I think. Well, it feels to me to be a pretty much perfect height. Uh-huh. Just do this by hand for the moment. Ooh. Now, we've got to have a look in the shader pack. Give us a really cool idea on what this is maybe possibly going to look like. That's perfect. That's really, really nice. Let's turn it on. And hopefully this looks really cool. Now the sun isn't in the best position. I want the sun... Where am I? What way does the sun rise? Does it rise over there? Time. Set. 2000. 7000. Ah, good. So it goes from that way to that way. That's perfect. That's exactly where we would want it to view this from. We get the light. We get the shadow. Look at the water in the shadow. That looks so much better than water in sunlight. It looks cool in sunlight, but in shadows, you can actually see the ripples and the waves. Now that, that is pretty cool, right? Hey? Yes. 100%. Needs to be made into stone. Um, I think it would look better in stone. And I also want some some stranger pits. Like. It's a rough one. But like this. Just some like. Ooh, where did I click? I'm going to undo that. Just in, Yeah. I don't know where I. Oh no. I set, set the time. Undo successful. I might have just like made a ball like miles in the distance somewhere. No, they're, they're almost... We, we've used these sort of things for horns before. But on this, I want to use them as, as parts of the rock formation. Like, you can imagine that this used to be bigger. But, like, this underside has fallen off. And this part is only just barely 
hanging on. It gives a little bit more character, a little bit more shape, a little bit more shadows. But I think that's I think that's good for this episode. I'm very, very pleased on how this looks like. And we can pretty much start the castle when we want. I don't know how many more... Or we need to add more pieces, obviously. But I don't know how many more pieces we, we need to add before we are able to start uh, building the castle itself. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode.